Hi guys, today we're talking about the magnitude of electrostatic force. In this problem, it says a 8.08 .08 nanocoulomb charge is located 1.79 meters from a 4.50 point charge. We need to find the magnitude of the electrostatic force that one charge exerts on the other. And then we need to know is the force attractive or repulsive. Okay, so for this, we're talking about stationary charges and the static so we're talking about stationary electric charges and we're going to be using a real simple equation for this one and uh, for this the equation we're going to be using is F is going to equal K and that is uh, Coulomb's constant. It is 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. Okay. And we're going to take the charge of Q1 and we're going to multiply that by the charge of Q2. And then we're going to divide it by the radius squared. Okay, so to break this down, uh, we know that K is 8.99 so let's see here so we got k which is going to be 8.99 times 10 to the ninth and you're probably wondering what units that's in that's going to be in newtons times meters squared divided by coulombs squared all right, so that's going to be K, right, this part right here. Uh, Q1 is simply going to be 8.08 .08 nanocoulombs. Q2 is going to be 4.50 nanocoulombs. And R squared is going to be the distance between them. Now, when we're talking about distances, the thing that you should uh, know is it's not just from this outer edge to here. It's actually... The radius. So we're talking about from the center of this charge all the way to the center of that charge. Okay, so this is going to be the radius. So from here to here. Okay, and we know that that is 1.79 meters. Okay, so when we set up this problem, uh, you're going to you're probably wondering what units it's going to be left in so let's just uh, let's set it up and and find out so we've got this 8.99 times 10 to the ninth Newton times meter squared divided by Coulomb squared now we've got and so we're going to multiply this times 8.08 .08 nanocoulombs right times 4.50 nanocoulombs and we are going to divide that by 1.79 meters and that's going to be squared. So that's going to turn into meter squared. Okay. Now when you do this, what happens is you get, so you've got the C's, right? So that's going to be a nanocoulombs. And so you have two C's. So those C's are going to cancel out. And then this is going to be meter squared. So the meters are going to cancel out. And you're going to be left with newtons. So I've already put this on the calculator to show you. We've got our 8.99 times 10 to the ninth, and that's for uh, K or Coulomb's constant. And then we've got our 8.08 .08 times 10 to the negative ninth, or nanocoulombs, uh, charge times 4.5 times 10 to the negative ninth. And then we're going to divide that by the radius, which was 1.79 squared. And we're going to be left with 1.02 times 10 to the negative seventh. Uh, newtons. Okay, so so when we do that, we're going to be left with one 
point zero two times ten to the negative seventh newtons. Okay, so this is for part A. Uh, for part B, is the force attractive or repulsive? Well, uh, as you should know, that any time you put a positive and a positive, they're going to repel. And if this were uh, a positive and a negative, they would attract. And uh, if it were a negative and then a negative, it would uh, repel as well. So, and how you know uh, if the charge is positive or negative, these both are positive. Had it been, I'm sorry, this 8.08 .08 or the 4.5, say you have uh, a positive. If this were to be a negative 4.5, then of course they would be attracting. And so these forces are obviously repulsing. And how that would look is you've got this, uh, uh, you've got this positive charge and it's going to be pressing against it. So, so this little guy is going to be coming here and this one's going to be pressing against here. And they're going to be pressing against that. And of course this is a stationary charge. These are all stationaries, hence static. Um, so uh, they are stationary, but they are both pressing against each other with the same force because of the distance between them. And uh, <clears throat> that's how you solve that kind of problem.